The Albanese government has revealed it is pushing for an inflation-linked pay rise for low-paid workers in its submission to the Fair Work Commission. Live this Sky News political reporter Joel Philp. Joel, the Employment Minister Tony Burke wouldn't put a number on this proposed increase, but where is this headed? Well... What we need to do next, Tom, is wait for the inflation figures in the months ahead because effectively what the government is saying is that it does not want real wages for this group of workers to be falling. So watching those inflation figures leading up to when this report is released by the Fair Work Commission will give those people um, in that a wage bracket an idea of how high their wages could rise. Now, of course, CPI hit 7.8% in December and has been moderating from here on in. But the question is, what group is the government recommending this increase for? Is it just minimum wage workers? Is it people on the award on award rates as well? The minister actually answered that question. It's about 184,000 people who are currently on the minimum wage. That figure changes over time, but that's around where it is at the moment. There are a number of awards within the award system that are quite close to that. The term that we have simply used is low paid. And you know, in terms of how the Commission chooses to define that and where they choose to draw those lines is a matter for the Commission. Unions have been pushing for a pay rise of 7%, but employer groups are saying that that's reckless and risks pushing Australia into recession. The Australian Chamber for Commerce and Industry, in its submission to the industrial umpire, is pushing for a wage increase of limited to 3.5%. So still, real wages would be falling there, but it would be indeed the highest recommendation that employer group has ever recommended. Let's take a listen. There is no evidence of, of wages being a driver of what's happening with inflation. I don't think I can put it more simply than this. We know high wage growth is not driving inflation because we do not have high wage growth in Australia. That was, obvious, that was obviously the Employment Minister, Tony Burke, there. Now, I'll just go through what he was speaking about. I believe that he was speaking about concerns about the so-called wage price spiral uh, from the Reserve Bank. So some months ago, we saw the Reserve Bank concern that an in inflation related to prices could be linked to inflation related to wages and it would cause a kind of vicious loop there. Now, effectively, what he said there is that he's not concerned about that, that he doesn't believe inflation in Australia is linked to wages and that's why they're making this recommendation. But we are seeing some concerns from employer groups about what these wage increases could mean. Take a listen. Uh, it's just not responsible. You know, the reality is uh, that will add um, $12.6 billion of cost back in, uh, mainly to the small business uh, sector. The, these are the, the businesses that are mainly paying um, the award wages that have been uh, talked about here. So so, Tom, in the months ahead, time will tell what this uh, information means. But for the lowest paid workers out there, watching those inflation rates in the months ahead could be a better feeling for them than the rest of the country.